Um, Kevin and I actually played to our strengths on the first draft. So I would write uh, the Benny Gesserit chapters, and Kevin would write more action and science-oriented chapters. And then on one of the books in the series, and again, I'll just leave, it, leave that out as a, as, a, as a tantalizing clue, we actually reversed roles. Uh, and I wrote the, the Kevin-type chapters first, and Kevin wrote the Brian-type chapters. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. And how did that turn out for the both of you? How did, how did that... Uh... It, it turned out fine. We've gone back to the other way. <laughs> but maybe, well, maybe we just kind of evolved to what we naturally are strong at. We've worked together for so long that we, we've got it down pat, I think, that we know how to do it uh, in the way that's the most efficient. But each time we write a book, whether it's uh, one of our individual books or whether it's a Dune book, uh, we try to improve what we've done before. And that was one of the exercises of me writing typical Brian chapters and him writing typical Kevin chapters is I I learned how to do things that I didn't know how to do before. And mm. I think we've both grown as writers just by uh, working so much together. We I figured it out once. We've written like over a million words together. And, wow. Um, it just, it helps us, but also as far as the, the Frank Herbert style and whether we imitate it or not, in order to do these books, we have to be absolutely immersed in the Dune universe. And I, I can't tell you how many times that I've read and reread Heretics and Chapter House before working on uh, the Dune 7 volumes. So just by absorbing all of this stuff, reading it over and over again, I think it's, it's affected the way we write a little bit more. But um, it's still our own books. We don't want to try to do a kind of cheap knockoffs of Frank Herbert's style, I don't think we would succeed in that. But what we have done since we started writing our books is that the sales of Frank Herbert's original novels have skyrocketed. They, they, mm. Huge new audiences have come to it, and we've got readers that um, never had picked up Frank Herbert's books before, but they read our books first, and then they've gone on to read the rest of the Chronicles. So uh, I think it's been a, a great boon for the whole great classic work of literature that I revere more than any other science fiction book I've ever read. Oh, that's fabulous. What a great result. I, I was curious, you talked earlier about how having split uh, what was originally going to be Dune 7 into these, into these two books, Hunters of Dune and then the forthcoming Sandworms of Dune. And I know uh, that those two titles were things that, uh, that Frank Herbert had come up with. Those were, I believe, originally... There were working titles for two of the previous volumes, if, if, if I'm yeah, correct. Yeah, well, H- Hunters of Dune was, was a working title, and I'd have to, you know, there's been so many Dune books now, but, but I know that Sand, it was Sand Worm of Dune, singular, which was the working title for, um, for God Emperor of Dune. And, and I believe that Hunters of Dune was a working title for either Heretics or Chapter House. Huh. I seem to remember also Sandworm of Dune was the title of one of the recordings that, uh, mm-hmm. that your father did for, for Cadman Audio years ago. So, yeah, and it was a reading of God Emperor. The reading of God Emperor, that's right. Yeah, so, because Sand, Sandworm was his, his working title for that book before he changed the title. So these titles are very much still, you know, a nod to, to Frank's work. I remember I saw in the introductory pages to Hunters, it was talking about forthcoming volumes, and it says Paul of Dune. And I just, mm-hmm. I didn't know if that was also a, um, a, a working title for something previous, or if this is something that... Uh, no, that's, that's, that's completely new. This is the new direction. Um, but, it, but it seems like a, like a logical title, and it's, um, it'll, it'll be the, the story of Paul Atreides, uh, before and after the novel Dune, and it's actually the first book of a trilogy. We we haven't named the other two books yet, but we we'll, we'll we'll get into that perhaps in another interview. Great. And all along, because we Brian found this big box of Frank Herbert's notes, and there were unpublished chapters, and there were never used epigraphs, the little quotes at the beginning of the chapters, and character backgrounds. Um, we've made a concerted effort to try to use as much of Frank Herbert's original stuff as we can. We try to use all the quotes that he gave us and um, some descriptive paragraphs. There there are pieces of Frank Herbert's text uh, sprinkled throughout the books. And, in fact, a lot of those notes and chapters were published in The Road to Dune um, just to show some of the pieces that we're working with. Well, a lot of times it's it's an inspiration. It, it could just be 
something that I remembered my father saying, and, and we would then put that in an epigraph. Um, but it's uh, it, we definitely have the spirit of Frank Herbert on in, in every word and every page of what we're writing. That's great. 